Hello friends, welcome to Shiva Academy. This video series is mainly to address the questions and the comments that I am receiving through mail or in the comment section. As a continuation of that, in this video we are going to see two different questions. The first question is, if minus and except are intended to do the same thing, then why Oracle DB is having both of them? The second question is a practical question. So typically these kind of questions are only being asked in the interviews. So here we have a table with three column that is an employee ID, department and salary. The expectation is we need to write a query to find the total salary of IT department, then total salary of HR department and all other departments total salary should come in the third column. So this is the expectation. Let's start with the first question. If minus and except are intended to do the same thing, then why Oracle DB is having both of them? So before getting into the uh, answer, let us quickly understand what is this minus keyword will do. So here I'm creating a table called tab one and I'm populating four values A, B, C and D. And I'm creating another table called tab table two, tab two, and I'm populating four values A, B, E and F. Now in these two table, the value A and B are common for both the table and C and D present only in table one and E and F present only in table two. Now if you write a query something like select star from table one, minus select star from table 2 we will get an output like c and d because the minus keyword will get the output of table 1 excluding the data from table 2 that is why we got the output like c and d similarly if you write a query something like select star from table 2 minus select star from table 1 in this case we will get the data from table 2 excluding the data from table 1 that's why we got the output like e and f as the output so basically the minus keyword will return all the data from one table excluding the data from other table Out output will be in a sorted format and it will remove if there is any duplicate in fact this information i have already covered as part of this video okay now in 21c oracle introduced four more new set operator keyword so here are the four new keyword our class introduced that is accept intersect all minus all and accept all these four keywords are introduced from 21c onwards in fact i have covered in detail about all this information in this video but now the minus keyword and the except keyword are functionally the same which will do exactly the same data the minus and except similarly the minus all and except all will do exactly the same data now the question is if minus and except are intended to do the same thing then why oracle db is having both of them Okay, before looking into the answer, let us quickly look into a small uh, table. So I'm creating a table one and I'm populating A, B, C, D and I'm creating a table two and I'm populating A, B, E and F. Let me just execute both the script. Now table one and table two are created and the data are populated. So here is a query like select star from table one minus select star from table two. So let me write select star from table one except select star from table two. Let me execute the first query. As expected, the output is C and D. Let me execute the second query. So here also you will get the output as C and D. So functionally, the minus and expect will do exactly the same thing. There is no difference. So here is the documentation from Oracle. As you can see here, the SQL set operator now support all the keywords as defined in ANSI SQL. The new operator accept and accept all is functionally equivalent to minus and minus all. Okay, now here is the answer. From 21C, Oracle is fully ANSI compliant on set operator. That means before 21C, with respect to set operator, Oracle DB is not ANSI compliant. Only from 21C, Oracle started supporting the accept keyword, which is being supported by most of the other databases. See, the reason for being an ANSI compliant is that it provides actually a, a greater compatibility for migration from one database to another database. Here is the documentation again. Like full ANSI compliance provides a greater compatibility one with other databases vendors and makes migration to Oracle databases easier than before. So both these things will support. And in fact, if you try this minus keyword in few other databases, it, it will not work. It is an Oracle specific implementation, but except keyword is an ANSI complaint. Hence all the other DBs that supports our compliance to ANSI standards will definitely support this except keyword. Okay, so this is the answer for this question. Let us move to the second question. 
Okay, I'm I'm just dropping and creating a table T and I'm just populating this sample data. Let me execute the select statement. So we have a table with three column employee ID, department and salary. As I always say, this can be implemented in n number of ways. Let me show you one of the most easiest way. Okay, so first what we are going to do is we're just going to prepare three more column and we are going to segregate the salary as per the department. So easiest way is to use the case statement. Let me put case when department equal to IT then salary end. So this will just bring the salary of only the IT department. Similarly, let us extract the salary of HR department, right? So the salary of HR department we got in a separate column. Similarly, we will get the salary of the rest of the department. So let us put like department not in HR and IT so that we will get the rest of the department salary in the next column. Anyway, we are not interested in these three columns. So let me just remove this. Right now we just need to sum all the salaries. Let me use sum of the salary. Similarly, sum of HR department salary. Similarly, the sum of all the other salaries. Okay, so we got the sum of IT department salary, sum of HR department salary and sum of the rest of the department salary. Let us give a, a valid alias or a meaningful alias. IT total. Let's say this is HR total and this is others total. So we just got the output like uh, IT department total salary 70,000, HR department total salary 20,000 and the remaining department total salary 15,000. If you want any questions to be answered, you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail ID. But before that, you can check whether a similar question has already been answered as part of the interview question or as part of the subscriber question series. If you're not able to find your question here, please write back to me. I'll be happy to record and post as a new video. If you have learned something new, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video, interview question, SQL practical question and concept videos. And thanks a lot for watching this video.